This is mail time number two because y'all enjoyed the first one so much. All right, let's go for the big one first. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This one has a lot of stuff. All right, grab a sandwich. We're gonna be talking about this for a little bit. Um, these are the HGLRC motors. These, I was looking around for some 1104 motors that had as much power as possible. I was just looking at straight up thrust numbers and these had some really good numbers on them so I wanted to test these out. I'm excited to, I'm trying to find the mix between a micro that can just rip through the air and then going to like something that's like a 1306, 1407 type of brushless motor. And I think these are gonna be a really good uh, motor for that small of a size. And I think I got, ooh, this box got smooshed, but everything looks good. So I got four of those. They have like a T-Rex on them or no. Velociraptor? I don't know. It's a dinosaur of some sort on the logo. Alright, and then I wanted to, with pairing to these motors and trying to figure out, you know, to get the most thrust out of such a small brushless, I'm going to be trying out some different props. Now, these props are Jim Fan 3025 polycarbonate, and these are pretty big. Uh, the frames, I think the Sky Party might not accommodate these, we'll see, uh, but I can just design a new frame or stretch the Sky Party out a little bit and we'll be good. But I think these frames are going to create quite a bit of thrust. And then we've got some more. Let's see. What are these? These are the DYS 2435 props. Um, I've heard good things about these. Um, and I've had really good luck with four bladed uh, 2535 props that were the Rotor X ones. So I'm excited to try those out. Let's see here. Oh, we have these. Uh, Micro FPV cameras, um, these are just getting to be where you can find them anywhere on Amazon. You don't have to wait to buy them from Banggood. But um, these have a nice little foam block to hold the camera into. I haven't really seen that before. So these will be uh, definitely getting used in my next couple of builds. Jim Fan 2035 props. Again, these look very similar to the Rotor X props that I initially used on the Sky Party frame as far as the profile of the blade. Um, so I wanted to also give these a shot and see if um, they were any better than the ones that I was already using. So I'm excited to use those. I've got a couple more bags of those props. And then these, of course, are the Racer Star 2035 props that are made out of ABS. I'm gonna get a really good uh, idea of what prop diameter and pitch works best with these motors. These are the DYS 1104 7000 KV motors. And these are very similar as far as uh, what the Banggood spec them out to as far as current draw and uh, thrust output to these purple motors. But I knew that DYS has been around for a really long time and I really want to try out some of their 1104 motors because I haven't been able to do that yet. So we're going to figure out some type of test stand and do all this all scientific like. And let's see, I think this is a, yep, this is an XM Plus. So this is one of those super small uh, FR Sky receivers that has the two antennas, so it's full range. And if you're fancy enough, you can get the RSSI telemetry out of, I think it's channel 12 or 13, something like that, onto your OSD, which is pretty slick. So I'm gonna try to be doing that. Okay. Uh, all right, what's next? Ooh, ooh, alrighty. Oh my gosh, Banggood is rocking out with some stickers now. I've never seen that before. It's cool. So. Uh, flight controllers have been getting faster and faster and smaller and smaller and the difference between an F3 and an F4 to me isn't that big of a deal like okay cool it can you know calculate the PID loop faster blah 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 but what makes these special is they are super small the mounting hole is 20 by 20 and it's an F4 that has a baked in OSD so remember how I was saying with the uh, XM Plus. Now this isn't just a regular XM, so this has the one antenna, but the XM Plus, these are both similar in how they function with uh, getting the RSSI to the OSD. So with these flight controllers and using the XM or XM Plus, I can get my RSSI signal, so that tells me if my radio signal is getting weak or if I'm flying too far away, back through the OSD that's already baked into the flight controller. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, more Banggood stickers. These guys, they know that people like stickers. What? Even more. Goodness. Oh, nope. I think this is my speed controllers. Oh, yes. 
All right. So what we have here are the 12 amp speed controllers. Now you can run a 10 amp on the Sky Party. I measured the current draw and is about like 28, 30 amps, which is well under the uh, 10 or even 12 amp. However, I'm when I'm playing that was with the 1103 motors, and when I'm starting to use the 1104 motors and start trying some crazy props that might strain the motors a little bit, I wanted to make sure to have speed controllers that could put out enough power to deal with whatever the motor was trying to do. And these 12 amp ESCs are still the same size. The, the mounting holes are 20 by 20. They're super small. And I love that I can get a 12 amp ESC that doesn't get any bigger and it's an all in one. So I got three of these. Banggood is just hooking me up. They saw some of the stuff I did at the Sky Party and they uh, are wanting me to continue to develop that and make some cool videos. So stay tuned to watch me push the limits of what all this awesome hardware can do in my Sky Party frame. And if it doesn't fit, I'll make another frame or I'll modify it. I don't care. I just like playing with this stuff because it's so much fun. All right, I will see you next time.